these are the videos i have taken from the esp32 cam you can see uh, we are getting 100 fps 40 to 46 fps on svga and i will show you how to make it there are two ways to make it first way is directly sending the video to the laptop or your phone this will be the shortest range and will have highest frame rate now if you want more range the second method is by using a relay module in between the ESP32 cam and the laptop or phone. Now it's recommended to use it on a laptop. The FPS and delay will be greatly depend upon the relay. I'm using ESP32 as a relay. You can do that way or you can buy an actual relay. First of all, you have to do is go to the GitHub, click releases and, and download the latest version of the code. Now I am having 1.4 and go down and download the latest zip file inside it you will see these python files and uh, this file open this file open the arduino code connect your esp32 cam module and i've connected my esp32 cam module and uh, connect to the correct com port then esp32 cam module now you see this is my code now what you need to do is you have to change this now to know what is your IP address, first of all, you have to do is go to your Wi-Fi, connect to any of your Wi-Fi. You have to connect your main router or you can connect to your phone's hotspot. Now, once you do that, then turn on the hotspot. You can see my password for my hotspot is VTX123456678. Uh, so I have to type the same name here, VTX. I have set the password and name correctly. Then what you need to do is go to command prompt type cmd and you will get this then what you need to type is ip config then click enter you will see this now in here you can see the 192.168.137.1 that is your ip address you have to copy that and type it in here then up and upload it upload the code to the uh, esp32 cam module so in here, the ESP32 connects to the laptop's Wi-Fi and you will be able to, uh, able to see the VTX. Now this is the short, shortest range. So if you want more range, you have to add a relay in between the camera and the uh, laptop. Now you see my ESP32 is trying to connect to the hotspot. Turn the hotspot on and it will connect to our hotspot. Just click the reset button just in case. So you see it's now connected to my laptop's hotspot. Now it's pretty simple, you need to do is go back and you will see this. Now this is regular UDP viewer. To view it, you need to download the Python. So type Python, download. Now you can download any version of Python, but I'm, I downloaded the Python 3.12. Just download the Python latest version. After downloading and installing the Python, go to the CMD, type CMD. And it will open the cmd then what you need to do is type this code this is pip install opencv python numpy click enter i have already installed it so i see this but if you're not installed it it will be having a downloading procedure after that go to the go here and you, you could uh, click here and uh, open it open with python your version of python and you will be uh, able to view the VTX. Now all the code are different. So the first is just a viewer and the second is able to show you the FPS. This is for the Android. I don't recommend you guys to use this one. Uh, there is one more for Android. So the first one is the UDP viewer. It just ba it basically shows you the video. There is nothing there uh, additional. So you get the video, nothing there additionally. Now, if you want FPS, you have to use the second UDP viewer FPS. Open it and you will also see the FPS meter. You see it's 100 plus FPS and uh, you can see it's uh, pretty fine. It's 100 FPS, 102 FPS. On uh, CIF quality, it's pretty low though. That's why you are getting this much FPS. Now, I also have this um, additional feature. You, if you look here, for some time you will get a short uh, text saying um, packet loss or something like that. It's because uh, some packages of UDP will be uh, not received the receiving side. So you will get a corrupt JPEG image. To fix that, 
I also have the code for the RC16, which is for uh, removing the those images, those who have uh, corrupted images. So in here, you will be getting less FPS because you are uh, removing corrupted images. But I recommend you guys to go with this, it's fine. But you can also go with FPS viewer if you just want a maximum FPS. After that, this is the same, but it is for Android. But if you want to, you can use it on your laptop. Just click here and you will see this. Go to this uh, in browser, control and uh, click here. And you will be able to view this. Now on PC, you have much more processing power. But on Android, you will be getting less performance. You won't get 99 FPS or 100 FPS. Now it's already capped at 99. Now uh, let's go to the final code. Now this is for the now this is for the PC version, which also shows you the packet loss indicator. And uh, now if you see here, you will be getting same FPS, but if there is any issues in the video, like packet loss, any type of uh, issue with the JPEG, it will show you the packet loss information. For Android, what you need to do is connect to any Wi-Fi, then turn on the hotspot. The hotspot name should be same as the name in the code and password also should be same as in the code. Then you have to install this app, open the app and you will see local IP. Copy that like we did on our PC and uh, paste it in the code. Upload the code to ESP32 Cam. Then install this app, open it and paste the code for Android. Run the code and you will see this HTTP. Copy that and paste it on your browser and you will see the BTX output. To use ESP32 as an extender, you have to go to this website and download this Flash tool. Go to this GitHub and uh, you will see ESP32 Net Router uh, extender and click Releases. Download the uh, version for your ESP32 full version. After unzipping, you will find this. Uh, go to the flash tool uh, you will see this in the flash tool that we just downloaded and uh, open it and what you need to do next is after opening you will see this you have to select the ESP32 so you will see like this what you need to do is you have to uh, select this and upload here to do that click here and uh, copy our uh, location and paste it you will be here and uh, click this now it's a uh, uh, selected you have to select click here and you have to have the uh, and here is the address so it is 0 x 0 now deselect and select there we have it now everything is fine after that you have to just uh, give the correct com port so this is my com port is com port and then upload the uh, upload it so just click start wait for a second there we have it now it's finished you can close it go to the Wi-Fi and you will see a new Wi-Fi here we see we have the NAT router now click it then you will be opening a new web browser you see here click it it mainly 192.168 for the AP means hotspot and the SDA means the Wi-Fi which is going to connect to so that we set the uh, hotspot to connect to for the VTX to connect to this name so you need to do is copy it or you can just type it and paste it on the hotspot because uh, this is uh, SDA so the VTX so the VTX is a uh, SDA the same thing here SDA so the VTX is going to look for this hotspot and going to connect here so this is the AP name you have to also have the password 1234568 so there we have the AP now this is the uh, sorry you also have to uh, type this so let me type it as uh, router 1234568 so same password as usual then click apply so you see that I got this now so you see I've connected to the RC config and click here you will open uh, you will see this now you have to do a little more things uh, in advance you have to make sure that you are on the highest uh, TX power so this is high you have to make sure it's high and this is 20 uh, you don't need to do anything else to clarify how it works 
on our first method we put a hotspot for the pc or mobile phone to connect to the hotspot is also called ap and the device that connects to the hotspot is called client which is also sta now the pc or the phone connects to the hotspot and gets an ip address this local ip address has to be written on the esp32 cam code and the and our uh, laptop or mobile phone puts a hotspot by the same name and password as in the code and the esp32 which is the client is going to connect to the hotspot of our pc now in the second method we do the same procedures but we also add a wi-fi extender in between so in here i'm using esp32 as a wi-fi extender you can see the same method the laptop connects to the hotspot and gets the ip address then the laptop's hotspot get connected by the esp32 and it also puts a hotspot and the hotspot is for the esp32 cam these are the videos i have taken from the esp32 cam you can see uh, we are getting 100 fps and uh, uh, the settings are at quality 20 and the megahertz of the clock is 40 megahertz camera clock speed you get around uh, 70 fps on qvga uh, it's at 37 camera megahertz In VGA, you get around 46 to 45 at uh, 37 megahertz. Now you can also go with SVGA. You get around 40 to 45 FPS at quality 20 i also tested the xga which is a uh, pretty overkill you can see the camera is already bottlenecked here it's 12 fps uh, and uh, it's the best uh, in terms of quality consider to subscribe and uh, give a like and thank you for watching